standard Galaxy S23, it's a mirror image. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Over the past few years, we've seen some fantastic flagship smartphones, and with their most recent releases, well-known companies have largely been playing the game of improvement. This is the case with Samsung's Galaxy S23 series. And before we get to our in-depth analysis, let's take a quick look at the standard S23, the smallest of the trio. The new lavender color, which is a very subdued combination of purple and pink, is what this device is painted in. And compared to the Galaxy S22 from last year, as expected, the S23 has not much changed. I mean it's even really difficult to distinguish between the two phones if they are both face up. Turning them over reveals the new camera design, which replaces the S22 single camera island with three rings made of metal. And thanks to its 168 gram lightweight and aluminum edges, the phone is incredibly easy to handle. Well, in terms of cameras, the S23's cameras have the same 50MP primary, 12MP ultra wide, and 10MP 3x telephoto modules on paper. But you can now shoot 8K video at 30 frames per second as opposed to 8K at 24 FPS on the S22. Additionally, you can also find a sharper front-facing 12MP selfie camera. The S23's 6.1-inch dynamic AMOLED 2X panel with full HD plus resolution and configurable 120Hz refresh rate are almost exactly the same as it was last year and as the new components. Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and a maximum peak brightness of 1,750 nits in auto mode are found. By selecting the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for all markets, Samsung has finally granted the wishes of its worldwide customers. It will be fascinating to observe how the compact form factor manages heat dissipation and throttling in this situation, where we're anticipating outstanding performance. Then talking about the storage capacity, unfortunately, the standard S23 model continues to have 128GB of storage, while the S23 Plus and Ultra both start at 256GB. In addition, the upgraded 3900mAh battery, when combined with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 CPU, should result in increased endurance but sadly, the maximum charging speed is still 25 watts. In order to keep up with the times, Samsung has also integrated integrated Bluetooth 5.3 connectivity and the most recent 6 GHz Wi-Fi 6E standard. With that said, I'll be winding up the session. So, today we had a quick review of the standard Galaxy S23, the smallest member of the S23 trio. I'll see you guys in our next video where we'll be reviewing the next member in the line, the Galaxy S23 Plus. Until then, let me know what you think in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.